Hi everyone, welcome to my fourth epilogue. I think it's a good moment to start introducing my game. Howling Tales is a story-driven game in a small open world. My main inspiration is Last of Us 2, in terms of how the story is told and some of the game mechanics, but it won't be so linear as the game is an open world. I'll be revealing more details of the story, the world and the characters in upcoming devlogs. For now, let's take a look at the progress of this past week. This week, I work on the design of the hunter's firearm, the Blunderboss, a very popular weapon among pirates and bandits. Howling Tales is not a shooter, but it will have some shooter ingredients. The firearms will be very primitive because the game is based in a medieval fantasy world where weapons are not very developed yet. You will have to make smart use of firearms in combination with melee combat. Speaking of enemies, one of the most notable changes is the enemy in Unreal. I posted a tutorial about my workflow to import characters from Blender to Unreal. I'll leave the link in the description. I still have to adjust a little bit the weight painting so clothes move better with animations, although I will probably use physics and that will solve part of the problem. For the enemy, I have added the ability to block attacks depending on a variable that I call change to block. It will be different depending on the enemy, similar to last week's chance to escape variable. Another change is the ability to attack in short range with melee attacks. On the other hand, the player now, when he's locking on a target, can strafe both in normal locomotion and blocking. I still have to adjust the camera a bit, but this is the main idea. And that's all this week. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and ask me anything about game dev and Blender in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help in any way I can. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.